good morning everyone thanks for joining for today's meditation i'm stanzan ladrol and i'll be leading today's meditation <clears throat> first let us settle in kindly check your body postures back to be straight but not stiff and head a bit tilted down and remember eyes not to be closed and your tongue should be touching the upper palate to remove the excess of mm, saliva and can be errors in your meditation and breathe naturally and you can keep your uh, right palm in your left palm like this and keep in your lap your hands and your legs in the meditative lotus posture Before we start the meditation, let us take long three deep breaths. Just to share with you all that meditation is of two types. single pointed meditation and analytical meditation and today we'll be doing the both a brief prime uh, single pointed meditation primarily to gain a focus and peace in our mind again which have various number of focal objects but today we will do on the breathing meditation and for the analytical meditation again there are various types of analytical meditation and for today we'll do on the four immeasurables that is to wishing everyone to be happy and spreading our love and compassion to everyone that will be analytical meditation and i'll guide through it by keeping that in mind we'll start with single pointed meditation for which initially we'll do 2 minutes for three times and later if we get time we'll do again for 5 minutes so to start with the single pointed meditation first body posture again back straight but not too stiff but if flexible and head tilted bit and remember not to close your eyes and breathe naturally and legs in the posture of uh lotus posture that is cross legged if you don't have problem with your legs otherwise you can sit on a chair and for today for the single pointed meditation we will be doing it on our uh, counting the breath while counting the breath we'll do a multitasking that is to visualize a white dot between your nose and the upper lips here it is not that while meditating you need to look at the white uh, disk that we are visualizing just we need to visualize it for example when we scratch our back we don't need to look at it but we feel it right that is our mind meditating not our eyes looking on it so like that we are just visualizing white dot between our upper lips and the nose and by keeping that in mind and just we'll just count the breath not we'll follow the breath all through the how it's breathing in and out 
we'll just count the bread. Like for two minutes, for some people, it can be just uh, 21 cycles or for some people, it can be more. And if you face any errors, we'll discuss in the next when we do after uh, doing it for two minutes. Okay, for two minutes meditation. Okay, let us come out of the meditation. And now we'll check back on our motivation for doing this practice. That why we have joined for morning session of the meditation. Primarily we joined here that so that my mind will gain some peace. And to set a proper motivation again, let us visualize any teacher or any enlightened being that you venerate, you know, venerate with, that they're looking upon us with immense kindness and unconditional love. It can be your teacher, it can be your any person that whom you learn the most with your compassion and with your wisdom, they are just with us to motivate us, to guide us. We feeling their warm love. And along with us, we are accompanied by our parents, mother on the left and father on the right. And your friends, your family members. And the whole citizen of India and the whole citizen of the world living on a site. They are also accompanying us to do this meditation. And this time, 
we are leading them with immense kindness and love, that we are there for them. And the purpose to meditate, to gain happiness for ourselves and happiness for others, primarily by training our mind and for today by single-pointed meditation and compassion. That being our motivation. And to start with, let us recite three, uh, three times the Perfection of Wisdom Sutra. I'll be sending in the chat if you want to also sing along with me. And this were this were especially is for the Buddha Shakyamuni encouraging us to grow each and each time. That is, go and go beyond this far, go beyond and establish your goal. That is the happiness. And I'll recite this three times in tune. And you can also accompany me while reciting it. And that is in your chat box once again. Dayata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasam Gate Bodhiswatiata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasam Gati Bodhi Swahatiatha Om Gati Gati Paragati Parasam Gati Bodhi Swaha. Okay, now let us once again go back to our single pointed meditation. Breathing our, counting our breath and visualizing a white dot between our nose and lips. And remember again not to close your eyes and just to count your breath. And if you find that you lose to, uh, to count your breath, once again, just slowly smoothly bring back your counting back and for which now we need to identify the errors of the meditation the most important thing while we are meditating we might get lose our track that is there can be two mental distractions one is the feeling laxity that we feel a little drowsy or we, our mental state can be an excitement state if you encounter with these two than to apply the remedies. The remedies are mindfulness and introspection. Mindfulness is the like a gatekeeper to keep in check and, and to, to keep it tight. For example, a dog to be tight on a pole, not to lose. And introspection is like keep checking whether the mind is meditating or not. Otherwise, we might spend another two minutes just without even realizing that we are meditating or not. With that in mind, let's once again we'll try to meditate for two minutes. And later that again we'll do it for two minutes. I'm keeping it short for the reason that when we do for the shorter duration, then we can identify identify our errors more swiftly and be able to apply the remedies. And if we get time, we'll after this, we'll do for the five minutes as well, so that we can see, we can do for longer duration. Okay, for two minutes.
coming out of the meditation once again. I hope all of you had good introspection and mindfulness and could count the breaths. And for sometimes it can be 21 and sometimes it can be longer than that, depending upon the speed of your breath. Remember that the quantity for the beginners like us, more than the quantity, the quality matters. Sitting meditation for hours and hours, if we don't have the quality of the introspection, mindfulness to keep in mind, then the purpose will not be served. So always while meditating, keep checking on your introspection and mindfulness and your errors of the meditation. Okay, by keeping that in mind, we'll do again this time five minutes. So then later we can start with the analytical meditation on four immeasurables. Okay, so this time for five minutes.
Okay, kindly come out of the meditation. I hope all of you could again bring the quality of the meditation even for a few seconds and slowly, slowly but steadily we grow. And now moving on to the analytical meditation that today we'll do on four immeasurables. Four immeasurables in Sanskrit is known as Chattva Brahma Vihara and primarily it is uh, to cultivate in ourselves compassion and love and kindness for others. And one might ask that why, why to cultivate uh, and uh, happiness for others? Reason being that, first of the reason being that, like us, how we want happiness and not suffering, like every other sentient beings that we visualize earlier, our parents, our family, our friends, whole citizen of the world, none of them want suffering and they want happiness. That being the first reason. And second being that we ourselves cannot function individually, independently from others. By wishing others happiness, it is a correlative, it's a mutual, it's a dependent origination that we also become happy. That is for moving towards other cherishing mind more than the self cherishing mind. And we might see that the growth comes from self cherishing, but rather it comes from other cherishing mind by seeing the dependent origination. So, by keeping that in mind, we'll do four immeasurables meditation. And with this, I'll be guiding it. And you just need to flow with the instruction and if you have any questions you can ask later but while i'm guiding just flow with it sometimes i might not uh, resonate with it just for one time just try to flow with it for example for a pine uh, for to learn a pi uh, piano in the beginning it will not make any sense but slowly with the training it will so here we are trying to train in a more in the other cherishing mind and wishing everyone to be happy. So with that in mind, once again, let us be in meditative posture. Eyes not closed, just 45 degrees down, not even wide open. Okay, by keeping that in mind, let us once again bring back the awareness that like me all other sentient beings want happiness and not suffering first i am very grateful that i have my share of love my share of happiness and the opportunity to even to join this meditation let us share this with all the ascension beings, first, immeasurable of loving kindness. How good it would be if all beings were endowed with happiness and the causes of happiness, the causes of happiness, primarily the cherishing others and the wisdom to see the dependent origination. May all beings be endowed with happiness and the causes of happiness. And I take the responsibility that all beings are endowed with happiness and the causes of happiness. And earlier that we visualize our teachers, enlightened beings, they are so pleased with us, with our commitment, taking responsibility to others being endowed with happiness and the causes of happiness. They're so pleased and they send forth the nectars and soothing light from their compassionate omniscient mind and touching upon you and all other sentient beings and everyone is granted with immeasurable happiness in its causes. Now, out of great joy upon seeing all beings benefited and take three step breaths and every time with exhaling the sigh of a relief at the end of the each breath.
moving on to the second immeasurable, that is the immeasurable of compassion. How good it would be if all beings were free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Primarily the causes of suffering with the self-cherishing attitude and grasping, not able to see the reality. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. And I take the responsibility to free all beings from, free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Again, our teachers that we visualize, the enlightened beings that we visualize, are so pleased that we are taking this commitment. And they send forth their nectars and soothing light from their compassionate omniscient minds. And upon touching us and all other sentient beings, everyone is freed from miseries and their causes. And out of great joy upon seeing all miseries being benefited, take three their breaths. Moving on to immeasurable joy. How good it would be that if all beings were never separated from happiness and the causes of happiness, may all beings never separate separated from happiness and the causes of happiness. And I take the responsibility that all beings are never separated from the happiness and the causes of happiness. And remember, our teachers and enlightened beings are observing us. And they are so pleased with our commitment today. And they send forth the nectars and soothing lights from their compassionate omniscient minds. And touching upon you and all other sentient beings, everyone is granted with stability of joy and its causes that they are endowed with. And out of great joy upon seeing all beings benefited, take three deep breaths. Now, lastly, immeasurable economy. How good it would be if all beings could abide in the state of economy, which is free from bias attitude of excessive attachment towards some and aversion towards others. May all sentient beings abide in the state of economy, which is freed of all bias attitude of excessive attachment towards some and aversion towards others. And I take the responsibility that all beings abide in the state of equanimity, freed of the bias attitude of excessive attachment towards some and aversion towards others. And all the teachers and all the enlightened beings seeing us doing this commitment, they're so pleased and they send forth their nectars and soothing light from their compassionate omniscient minds. And upon touching us and all other sentient beings, everyone is granted a sense of equanimity towards all beings, which embrace them equally, living none aside. Out of a great joy upon seeing all other beings benefited, take three deep breaths. And now, the bliss that we feel, the joy that we feel, seeing that everyone is freed from suffering and its causes and endowed with happiness, that is the most beautiful mind that we can have, the most spacious mind that we can have, not restricting to anyone. So let us transform that mind into white moon disk at your heart of one mm in diameter, sitting right at our heart horizontally. And let us just be aware that we are not an independent entity in ourselves. We are dependent on many other factors to function like this. And for our own happiness, 
we need to depend on all other sentient beings. Just by realizing this wisdom that we are not an independent entity, transform that mind into a white vajra, thumb-size, sitting on the moon that we visualized earlier. And now this two most beautiful mind, the moon and the vajra, let us share one set with our each one of our family members and one set with each one of our friends and relatives and all the cities in all the world. They also have this two most beautiful mind. Now, with keeping that in mind, let us come out of the meditation and let us dedicate that by doing so in this session that our teachers belong life and this kind of wisdom be proliferate to all other citizens and the wars that we see in different countries or the conflicts that we see subsides and everyone abides in such other cherishing mind and see the true nature of our mind Thank you so much, everyone, for joining for today's meditation. See you tomorrow.